to begin seated on the floor. Butterfly position, soles of the feet together, opening up those legs. If this is too tight for you, put pillows underneath, put blocks underneath, whatever you can to get you to relax and open those inner thighs. Sitting up nice and tall on your sit bones, move the butt cheeks out of the way so you can really feel rooted into the ground, feeling length through your spine. Close the eyes, take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Again, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Let's pull our chin into the chest Let's roll through the spine as we rock our body forward, walking our hands out as far as we can go. Think of extension through the spine, opening up the hips, energy out the fingertips. I just made a poem. And walk the hands back up, one vertebrae at a time, rolls up, last to arrive is your head. Let's do that again, chin into the chest, rolling through the spine, one vertebrae at a time, walking the hands out in front of you, energy out the fingertips. Let's walk our hands over to the right, breathe into that side body, think of rooting that left hip down into the ground, relaxing that head, maybe you want to, you know, shake it from right to left. Very gentle nose. And walking the hands back through center all the way over to the left. Same thing here, breathing into that side body, nodding the head, shaking the head very gently. Thinking of that right hip rooted into the ground. Walking the hands to center, rolling up through the spine. Finding a nice, tall seat. Grab those ankles, shins, or knees, whatever you can grab onto. Inhale, arch the chest through the arms, looking up. Exhale, curving through the spine, making a nice C shape, hollowing out the belly. Inhale, lifting up through the chest. Exhale, bringing the chin into the chest as you curve through that spine. How fluid can we make this movement? Inhale, lift. Exhale, curl. Last time, inhale, lift. Exhale, curl through the spine. Sitting up nice and tall, head is stacked right on top of the vertebrae. Let's make little body circles over to the right. So I'm bringing my chest forward, side, back, side forward, side, back, side. Go at your own pace, really opening up those hips, those inner thighs, and also really opening up the, the spine and all the muscles around it. And let's reverse those circles. So you're going to the right and to the front and to the left and to the back. Go at your own pace, whatever feels good here for you. Breathing. And last one, finding center. Bring your body sitting up right on top of those sit bones. Give yourself a little wiggle. And we're going to extend our right leg out in front of us, toes up to the ceiling. Right foot stays in place. You can bring it a little bit closer to hug that inner right thigh. Reaching the arms up, overhead. Let's bring our body over that leg I'm starting at a flat back, so I'm not curving my spine yet. I'm at a nice, long, flat back. Now I'm exhaling and curving the spine over top of that leg. Breathing into that hamstring, flex those toes up to the ceiling. It increases the stretch. Activate that quad, and that you might feel your heel lift off the ground slightly when you do that. Walking your hands up. Let's go ahead and reach our left hand to the outside of our right leg. So I'll turn sideways so you can see this. And then we're going to take our right hand and reach it back behind it. So we're doing a nice twist. As if you have to, you're sitting in a chair and you have to reach behind you to grab your phone. 
So sitting up nice and tall, the right hand is reaching behind you, the left hand is on the outer edge of that right leg. Toes are still lifted up to the ceiling, leg is activated. Inhale, sit up nice and tall through the spine, and exhale, twist gently. We're not trying to crack our back, we're just twisting. Look at over top of that right shoulder. Excuse me. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Unwind, come back to center, walk your hands down the leg. Lower the forehead to the shin, to the knee, to the air. Rolling up through the spine, let's do a reverse twist. So I'm just taking my right hand over to my left knee, reaching that right hand, sorry, left hand back behind me, sitting up nice and tall. Exhale, twist, nice counter twist. Inhale, lift, exhale, twist, last one. Inhale, lifts, exhale, twists, unwind. Let's switch legs. So now my left leg goes out in front of me. The sole of my right foot goes right up against that uh, left leg. Toes up to the ceiling, quad activated, pulled up. Inhale, arms reach up, flat back, lean over that leg. Find that right angle, so a nice straight spine. Really feeling the stretch in the back of the leg. Now exhale, bend through the body, curve over that leg. Grab the toes, the shin, the knee. Breathe. Walking the hands up the leg. Very nice. We're gonna take our right hand, reach it over to the outside of that left leg. Reach our left hand back behind us. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, twist over to the left. Look over that left shoulder. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Good, unwind, bring the body back center, walking the hands down the leg, reaching for whatever you can reach, hang out here, breathe. Walk the hands up, let's take a counter twist, left hand comes to the right knee, right hand reaches back behind, inhale, lengthen through the spine, and exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, twist. Look over that right shoulder if you can. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Good, unwind. Come back to center. Both soles of the feet together. Flap those knees a little bit. Sitting up nice and tall. Walk your hands forward. Let the body drop over the legs. Rolling up through the spine. Open the legs out to the side as far as you can. Try to rock your pelvis forward a little bit, feeling a little more of a stretch on the inside. So if your pelvis is a bowl, you want to tip it forward and tip it back. So tip it forward, tip it back. Tip it forward, tip it back. Kind of awkward. Tip it forward, tip it back. Find center, sitting up nice and tall. My toes are up to the ceiling. Walk your hands forward. It's okay if you feel your pelvis tilting forward. Totally fine. Opening up those inner legs. Walk your hands over to the right side. Breathe. Walking your hands through center over to the left side. Walk your hands to center. Walk the body up. Sitting up nice and tall. Close the legs. Both legs in front, give them a little shake. Let's make our way to all fours. I'm gonna do some shoulder shrugs. So first let's begin with stacking our shoulders right over top of our wrists, our knees right underneath our hips, hip distance apart. We're gonna shrug our shoulders. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slowly drop our chest in between our shoulders. So you wanna think of your shoulder blades squeezing a pencil behind you as you drop your chest. So I'm kind of hunched here, like shrugging chest through. And then exhale, I press my hands into the floor as I lift my upper back and press it against a, the ceiling. Imagine the ceiling slow. Press it against the ceiling. So I'm not rounding through the spine. I'm just focusing on the upper back. So I'm dropping the chest in between the shoulders. Go nice and smooth here. Shoulders are real sensitive, but this should feel real good. 
and exhale, press the floor away and lift, lift the back, press it against the ceiling. Lower belly is lifted to protect that low spine. We're not moving anything else in our back except our upper back. Drop the chest in between the hands. Exhale, press away. One more time. Shrug and press. Good, now let's make a cat pose, round through the spine, rock forward and back, feel the shift. The core is initiating the movement, so think of that lower belly really pressing in against that spine, that low back, and just shift forward and back. And exhale, find center and arch through, lowering the belly, lifting the chest. So we're not shrugging now, now we're curving the spine. And inhale, curve. Cat pose, exhale, lift the chest. One more, cat pose, really pressing through the upper back. Exhale, cat pose, open the knees wide, toes touch, sit back, child's pose. Stretch those hands out in front of you. Shift your hips right and left, side to side. If this irritates your knees, do not do this. Find center, breathe through the upper back. Really spread your fingers wide here. So like you're making a handprint in the Hollywood star or something. And press your shoulders down. Now think of sliding your hands backwards. So you're not really moving, but it's more about the thought, the intention of the movement, and you can feel an increased stretch. It almost feels like you're suctioning yourself to the floor. But I'm not pressing down as much as I'm thinking of sliding my arms back Breathe, exhale, release, let everything go. Relax the arms. Let's make our way to all fours again. Let's stretch our right leg back behind us. So we're on our tippy toes, right leg is extended back behind. Feel a nice stretch in the calf. Little rocks forward and back. Good, find center, turn that foot down. So we're gonna think of opening our hips. So we're on our toes, we're gonna pivot our heel to the ground, opening our hips. So now our body is kind of sideways. We're gonna rotate, we're gonna keep that left hand on the ground as we rotate the hips open, which rotates the body open, and we reach up to the sky. Breathe, my knee, is stacked right under my hip, it's supporting me. Everything feels really strong and stacked and safe. And bring that right arm back down to the floor as you rotate your chest back down to the floor as you pivot that heel back up to the ceiling. Let's do that one more time. Pivot the heel, the right heel down to the ground which opens your hips, which opens your chest, which brings that right arm up to the ceiling. Breathe. Let's bring that right hand behind our backs. Feel a stretch in our shoulder. And reach that arm up to the sky. Let's bring that arm down, keep the hips open, and we're gonna rotate our body through the center. Walking your hands, your um, supporting leg is gonna pivot as well. So I'm just pivoting that foot back. And now I'm hovering right over. This knee is still stacked under my hips, but now I'm getting a stretch on that inner thigh. And you can play with walking your hands closer to that foot, but wherever you find balance, but we're really just focusing on all the nooks and crannies that, that this stretch provides. And walk your hands back. Your, your supporting knee is gonna pivot again under you. It happens naturally, so don't overthink it. Back to the ground, lift the toes, bring that knee to meet the other knee. Shift your hips right and left. Sit back, child's pose, give those arms a break. Again, shift your hips from side to side. Okay, I'm gonna turn so you can see. We're gonna bring ourselves back to a tabletop position, all fours. Reach that left foot back. I'm on the ball of my foot. I'm gonna do little rocks forward and back, stretching the calf out, shifting forward and back. Finding stillness, I'm gonna pivot that left heel down to the floor, which naturally opens up my hips, 
my supporting knee stays where it needs to stay. Hips are opening, which opens up my chest, which brings my left hand up to the ceiling. Breathe, find your balance. My core is working, but I'm feeling length through the spine, through the arm, through the foot. Exhale, bring that arm down, which pivots your chest down to the floor, naturally pivoting that left leg, knee down to the floor, heel up to the ceiling, starting position. We're gonna do it again. So pivot that heel down to the floor, opening up the leg, the hips, the chest, the arm reaches up. Breathe. Bring that left hand behind the small of your back. Feel the stretch in the shoulder. Really reaching up to the ceiling there with the chest. If this hurts your neck, you can look down. No problem. Feeling a nice stretch in the front of this left leg. Inhale, reach that arm up. Bring it over. Now we're gonna stay here. The supporting leg is gonna naturally pivot um, toes to the back. So you're pivoting. You're reaching over to that right side. Walking the hand center and over to the other leg. Finding all the nooks and crannies that need to be stretched out this way. And walking the hands nice and slow, nice and controlled. Back over, let's Lift that heel off the ground, square off. Make sure everything feels nice and square. Drop the knee, open the knees, sit back, take a child's pose. Clasp your hands above your head. Lift the fist up and try to place it behind the nape of your neck. A little bit of a tricep stretch. If this doesn't feel like a stretch, you can walk your elbows forward and you'll immediately feel that stretch. Release the hands, rolling up through the spine, and come to a nice, tall, seated position on your knees, and you are all set.